Hello everyone and welcome back to Horsehaven! We are here in Hearthstone Village in our Montana ranch getting ready to breed up for the rare horses once again. So as you guys know we finally 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 managed to unlock the tier 4 Arabian and I actually haven't even seen one in person yet. Just little pictures of one like when you're at the Pure Breeder Society so I'm really excited to try to do that but we have not had any luck with trying to do that just yet. So far we have just managed to get like tier 2s even so they've changed things up a little bit so when you breed two tier threes together it's not always a tier three that results which is why in this breeding stall right here we have dun, 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 a little foal who is a tier two even though Hakeem a tier two male even though we bred night candy and nightshade together so it's kind of like curses curses we were so close and yet so far away so we're gonna try to breed for our Arabians we're also going to be breeding hopefully for our tier three Pisces and our tier three Aquarius today as well so the usuals in other words let's go ahead and clean up the paddocks we might have some time to visit some of your ranches at random too which is always fun and then there we go there we go gotta clean all this up and the debate rages on once again it cracked me up to see in the last episode the debate over whether or not eh, oh no all right well we're doing this now apparently <laughs> the debate over whether or not those piles of brown things inside the paddocks are either poop or rocks has continued it has sparked itself back up again like we last discussed it back in episode 30 and now here we are in the 80s and people are once again arguing is it poop or is it rocks and i'm still leaning towards rocks but you guys voted poop last time so I've been rolling with calling it poop and now we need to figure out what you guys think it is now yeah we have high sophisticated uh. conversations about these things don't we guys <laughs> But all right, so let's see what we need to work on today. I think Pura is ready to either go back into the Grand Stable if we've got enough room for her. And we don't, which really sucks. Oh no, what are we going to do? I'm out of room in my stables again. And as you guys can see, I am a very, very low on diamonds. So I think today, unfortunately, we're going to have to just sell Hakeem. And he's going to have to go on and have a beautiful life elsewhere. And let's go ahead and get a whole bunch of this grass planted because I'm very low on grass and we need it in order to feed some of our horses so we'll just go ahead and plant a ton of it because it grows really quickly it's really cheap why not and let's go ahead and check our mail for the day Ooh, look at that wow thank you guys so much for hiring me as your stable hand that really helps to like earn a lot of extra coins thank you so much to all of you guys who have come to visit the village thank you so much for using my horses for social breeding points too because that's a lot of money in my pocket it helps make up for the very very expensive social breeding that we've been doing with our horses look at this i'm not even a millionaire yet like again i lost my millions i'm going brand like boat brand <laughs> i'm going broke at the bank there we go I'm low on diamonds. We're going to have to do our best to try to get back up on all of those things. It's very expensive to do all of the races. Oh, yes, 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 yes. All right. So we managed to get this tier four. It closed because there's a new lineup for the tier four horses. But we slipped this horse in with just an hour left, even though it was going to take an entire day to complete that task. And guess what? You kind of get like free gyms. You don't even have to have your horse in for that entire day because that hour after it closes whatever active tasks you have going you get those prizes so here we go three emeralds money lots of fame how much fame do we have now we need to check thank you so much to all of you who have come by to pet my horses and is that everything almost we received some help how much fame do i have now Ooh, we're cult crazed so we are at 254 fame points so what is there something we can do with it Ooh, there's a leaderboard that will come up i'm sure they're going to do something with fame in the future that would be pretty fun i could see like you could enter exclusive of steeplechases if you had enough fame being a thing. All right, Pura, do you need to eat or are you at level... Oh, she's at level 12! Yay! All right, is she going to get higher stats? I always get really excited when the horses get higher stats. Let's see if she's going to get higher stats. Nope, we just have a little bit of coin. That's fine, Pura, as long as you're happy. All right, and let's go ahead and feed her. So I'm trying not to sell her for diamonds, but we really do need some room. So we'll have to see what will happen. There you go, sweetie. All right, because we do need to feed up our horses because I know that happens to be one of our daily quests. So let's check our daily quest really quickly. I've already completed a couple of them. We need to harvest seven honey crunchies, feed a horse five times, and sell six carrot muffins. So let's dig out. Oh, I'm going to be so sad if we don't have the carrot muffins. <gasps> yes, we have the carrot muffins. Huzzah for my like pack rat tendencies with all of, the, <laughs> all of the stuff we've got. And now we can come over here and hopefully feed up. Yeah, there you go, Abriel. Now we'll be able to feed him up. So he, it's really weird to have like this brown horse as a result of night candy and, and 
Okay. Just don't move and scare me like that. You were very intent on eating your grass. And Nightshade, so they have been, like, in the past, always had tier 3 foals. So it's really weird to have tier 2 foals from them. I mean, that's not what they do. But that's okay. It's just the way the game has changed. And it's probably a bit more balanced that way, too. So let's see if we can feed this one. Hi, Daffodil! I really want to try breeding Daffodil and Dandelion up pretty soon to see if we can get the next tier of my birthday horse. But at the same time, I really, really want to do the Pisces, and I really want to do the Aquarius. We're, we've got it pretty bad, you guys. We've got it pretty bad. All right, let's go ahead and feed all of these to her. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Just look at that face. You're so cute, Daffodil. I love you. I can't wait to have, like, the Tier 2 and the Tier 3 of these guys. All right, so we fed that horse. All right, Night Candy, do you want to eat? Night Candy, or Nightshade, excuse me. That's a lot. I don't have that much to feed you. Same with you, Night Candy. All right, so let's go ahead and we're gonna breed these two up and see if we have any luck. Dun dun dun. Ah, deep breath. We're gonna see if we have any luck getting the tier four. Oh, there it is. The tier four Arabian. And I already spent the diamonds. So I know you guys are going, Siri, it's the special breeding reward. Yeah, I already spent the diamonds twice last time off camera trying to get it. So we're not going to do it anymore. We're just going to sit tight and we're just going to take that 7% for what it is. Because I spent a whole bunch of diamonds. Oh, and there we go. What? Yay! All right. So we have a tier three at least. That's worth a lot of diamonds in the future. So yay! All right. Not quite what we were going for, but better than nothing for sure. All right, so let's see. Can I feed you? Dandelion, can I give you a little bit of food? I sure can. And then we'll finish this up, and then we'll go and we'll see if we have any luck with the Aquariuses. We'll also have to see what the pure breeders... Ooh, we should go see what the pure breeders thing is right now, actually. That would be really fun. I really like seeing their little quests, and it's like free diamonds! It gets really addictive just to snag those diamonds. All right, everybody seems okay over here. I'm gonna go... What? I missed some grass and some poop. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and put down some more corn. I'm worried we're probably going to need some more carrots, so let's get those planted. And there we go. And let's go ahead and get some of the wheat in there. There, all right. So let's take off, you guys. We need to go harvest those honey crunchies, and then we'll check on the Pure Breeder Society before we pop by our German ranch. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, look at everybody. They're so beautiful and blue. I love it. Oh, my gosh, I love it. All right, we gathered up a whole bunch of the honey crunchies. Dun, dun, dun. And now we just need to feed one more horse. So I'm sure we'll be able to find one of these adorable foals who will want to come home with me. And we've got so many of them now. So we have a lot of tier 3 females for the Aquariuses. You can see we've got one here, one here, and one here. But we do not have a tier 3 male. So that is what we are still struggling to get. And that is why we have kind of kept... Oh my gosh, do we really have... Oh no, no, no. This one's a tier 2 as well. Are you a little boy? Yeah, this is a little boy, Jean, so he is a tier two, but I'm pretty sure that this one is a male too. Yeah, this is Harry, and he is a tier two as well, and apparently he wants a lot of corn, so I'm going to go ahead and feed him a bunch of corn. And I think we'll go ahead and keep Jean, because Jean is higher level, which means he'll sell for more diamonds in the end. There you go, buddy. There's a lot to feed you. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, there's so much food. There you go. All right, so he's done being fed, and now we should be able to finish up. Let's see. Dun, 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 that quest. So there we go. All right, whoops, and I forgot to claim my little reward. Thank you very much. And we are one day closer to completing all of the daily quests and hopefully being able to get that special item. So I'm really looking forward to that. But all right, let's go ahead. Do I have enough food to feed this little guy? I do not, which is a pity. Jean, I hope you have a wonderful life. On you go. You're gonna find a new home, and we're gonna move this full which is yet another tier three female. It's almost like a bad joke now. We keep breeding with Triton and we keep ending up with just females. Um, tier three females, which is kind of hilarious and kind of beautiful all at the same time. So let's go ahead and we're going to go back over to Skull Candy's place. And we are going to try once again to breed with Triton if he's out. And he is. Oh my goodness. Is this Ambrosia? No, I'm pretty sure this is. Yeah, this is Sakura. All right, we're going to come over here. And we're going to try once again. Um, I'm going to try with Oma this time. And those are two tier threes. And we're going to go ahead and try breeding them together. Are we going to get a boy? I need a boy. <laughs> no, that's a female. And this is a female. No. All right. So we did not get a female or a male this time. We got two chances at having a tier three. And this is a tier two. 
a tier three female and so we have a tier two male once again that's very very interesting we keep just getting so close and then striking out when we're just getting on the verge of being able to have like that tier three male and completing our set of tier three constellation horses for the aquarius so ah, so close and yet so far all right, let's buy a couple flowers really quickly because I always mean to buy some flowers and then I always end up forgetting. Oh, maybe a tree? Can I put a tree over here? <gasps> Please let me put trees over here. I would love to be able to put trees over here. I'll be so happy. <gasps> I can put a tree there. Yes, we're definitely putting some trees down. Oh my gosh. Please, this is so awesome. This is so cool, you guys. I'm putting trees in my yard. Sweet. All right, let's put another tree right there. Wonderful. Well, that's even better than flowers. But then let's just grab a couple flowers really quickly. Just because I always, always go, oh, we'll do it next time, we'll do it next time. And then we never end up having enough time to dig these flowers out and enjoy them. So here's some wild yellow flowers here. Wonderful, wonderful. And then let's see what's over here. Keep going, keep going. Aha! Blue flowers. Not quite what we're going for. The wild flowers. Yeah, like these purple ones. There we go. The wild flowers for our beautiful honeybees so that they can enjoy them. Let's see, let's put another one over here. And then maybe we'll make it so that there's just flowers all over the place in the future. Here's some blue ones. And just nice and thick with flowers. So that's going to be really fun. One day I might just go absolutely crazy with the flowers. And then you guys can come back and enjoy it. So it'll be really fun to show off to you, all of you. All right, let's see. Maybe put this one right there. Yeah, look at that. All right, that's very pretty. Wonderful. So let's check on the Peer Breeder Society. I have actually unlocked all of the Breton tasks, so I'm pretty excited about this one. Except for the fact I do not have a Tier 2 Breton, so that's a little bit embarrassing. But I unlocked the story tasks, so we actually have two of them completed. And this one is the Horse World Expo, so we were able to get an extra ruby. Dun dun dun! Yay! And now we just need a male full. Well, lucky for you! Or a male of any horse, actually, who's a stallion. All right, well, Harry, why don't you go ahead and show off how awesome you are? And then over here, that was another... <gasps> Can you believe it? Our horse made the front page of every newspaper. Sweet. That was another Hor Horse World Expo thing. And now we need a good jumper. So let's see. Who's a good jumper who I'm okay with putting out here? How about Patience? Patience hasn't gotten a chance to come out in a long time. I really love that it lets you use the horses that you have in your stable because that is a huge boon. So that is for the Breton, the Tier 4 Breton. Here is the Tier 4 Dutch Warmblood and the Tier 4 Halflinger, which is gorgeous. Look at that mane. Oh my gosh. I don't even think I have halflingers though. For example, here I don't have a tier 2 Dutch warm blood, so we're still working on that one. But we did have an extremely fast horse set in new record. So we got some emeralds. And then this one is a historic tour is doing a vintage carriage, carriage ride and they're looking for horses. So we're going to be able to add one of our horses in. Hmm. Why don't we put out Pura? Because I think she would enjoy that. So Pura can go ahead and enjoy that. I did not have enough diamonds right now that I want to spend to unlock the next story. But because it's so early in the month, because it's the new month for all of these tasks, I would highly recommend spending the extra diamonds on doing that if you are really hurting for getting gemstones faster and you happen to uh, have the diamonds laying around. I think it's a good idea. All right, and then our halflinger still working on having even a tier one halflinger. So that's going to be uh, maybe something we might need to work on. And then we submitted one of our horses to a horse magazine. It got a beautiful sapphire. And now we need to have a foal who can be in a documentary film. Yves, it's you. <laughs> Apparently I only have one foal right now that is applicable for that. So he's going to enjoy that. And I do not have this one unlocked, but it would be so useful to get more of those sapphires. So, all right, speaking of sapphires and precious precious gemstones. Let's go see what the German ranch has today. That's where our mines for the gemstones happen to be. There we go. Oh my gosh, you guys. So much mess. So much mess over here. Let me clean it all up. There we go. There we go. All right. So we're going to tidy this up really quickly. And then let's go ahead and check in. In fact, I kind of want to get some, some more cherries. I'm always overabundant on cherries, but then I turn around and I get really excited and I start making them into all the feeds here because my horses just really love the feeds that show up from the German ranch. So let's see, let's do this one. Oh no, I got money. I didn't want money. I wanted gemstones. That's more exciting than money. All right, that's the second time today I've gotten money because you can come back every uh, few hours, like about eight hours and check in on that. So that's how that's going. And then let's see, let's go ahead and get our trees growing again. Very important to keep those constantly moving and grooving. 
And then we're gonna go ahead and try breeding with Ambrosia over at Courtney's Ranch. And we're gonna see if we have any luck once again with the breeding. We did not this time. We ended up with a beautiful little tier one Pisces who is gonna go find a new home. We're still raising several of the other horses and I kinda need to find new homes for some of them. Pretty sure this guy just needs to head out. He's our standard bread. But it's kind of like, I don't know, when when could we use another standard bread? You get really excited. But I'm pretty sure he just needs to go ahead and maybe find a new home. Oh, there's Kitty B. Let's see what she's got out right now. Is Ambrosia her horse? I think Courtney has Ambrosia. Yeah, these are some pretty horses though. So we're gonna come and visit Katie. She's been super awesome. She gave me a tiny hat that was in snail mail, which was so cute. Oh my goodness. Oh, and she's definitely had some better luck with some of these. There we go. And then we might even have enough time to pop by one or two other ranches too. So we'll visit a couple on our way. Oh my gosh. <gasps> the tier four Morgans. Ah. Uh, definitely having some envy over those beautiful, beautiful horses. Oh, and look at the cute little bell tower. Oh my goodness. That's so adorable. I'm so envious about those too. Oh man. All right, well, let's keep moving and let's visit Nicole. So let's visit Nicole as we work our way down over to Courtney. Oh, wow, look at that. I like that crystal path. And look at this cutie. Who are you, my little friend? So let me see, this is the American Indian BB. Very, very cute. All right, beautiful horses. <gasps> Another tier four. Oh, so many people have had luck with the tier fours and I'm still clawing away just for the first one. But that's okay, that's what makes it so much fun. Wow, who are you? Man, I always forget we need to breed for those black forests. We definitely need to expand our stables because then we'll be able to start pulling in horses that I really, really want and having a little bit of free space for when we need to start wiggling for some of the other constellation horses in the future. Oh my goodness, a tier four Arabian. <gasps> she's so beautiful she's so beautiful should I try breeding for her I, <laughs> all right we might try breeding for her in the future so I'm gonna have to remember Nicole has a beautiful tier 4 Arabian I am so envious so envious those are gonna go down in my notes you guys down in my notes all right so let's go ahead and visit this unknown person and then we will work our way over to Courtney's place Ooh, very nice Lo oh there's a tier something something over here I think the mane looks different. Ah, uh, it has a top hat, that's why. Horse with a top hat, oh my gosh. That's adorable. Where on earth, can you buy top hats? I'm gonna have to look into that. I had no idea you could get top hats. That's just the cutest thing. Oh my gosh. I kinda like how everything's laid out. It's very eclectic. All right, let's look at this ranch and see what's going on in the German ranch really quickly. Adorable, adorable foals. Look at them kick around, they're so cute. All right, and then let's go ahead and finally find Courtney because she has been so sweet and so wonderful to leave out Ambrosia for so, so, so long. I'm not sure if Ambrosia is still out. I would not blame you, Courtney, if you decided to put her away <laughs> because it has been so many times of trying to breed with her. There she is. Oh, my gosh. Thank you so much, Courtney. And is this a tier two? This is a tier two name. <gasps> name Siri. Oh. An Aquarius named Siri, I didn't mean to do that there. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Oh my goodness, Courtney, thank you. <laughs> That's so sweet. I remember you tweeted that to me and I forgot. Oh my gosh. So we're gonna try breeding with Ambrosia and Braybird. And we're trying to get this little tiny sliver right there. And you know what, to celebrate that, I'm gonna go ahead and spin the diamonds, 200 diamonds. <laughs> And I doubt it's going to work. Here, do I, do I spend another 200? I don't think it's gonna work. I don't think it's gonna work. So I'm, I'm, we're already 200 diamonds in to celebrate that there's a horse named after me. And we're just gonna have to take whatever happens to fall in our laps, which is unfortunately not a tier three. And that's okay. We're just gonna try, try again. So we have a tier one. 200 diamond tier one that's fine that's fine who comes from this beautiful ranch and Courtney thank you so much I totally forgot that you mentioned that and then I stumble on her and it was a wonderful surprise so thank you thank you thank you we'll have to try breeding dandelion to her well that's kind of awkward because she's named after me in the future <laughs> but moving on from that let's go ahead and wrap up the day you guys by going ahead and taking the quizzes at the quiz stand all right, um, in biology, what phylum are horses part of? Now, this one's getting a little more complicated. I think it's, uh, nope. I knew it was something with C, but that was it. 
Uh, Kala was a real horse that loved painting, and he was a mix. He was a mix of Mustang and American Indian. Nope, quarter horse. All right. Apparently, we're striking out on the quizzes tonight. Among the twelve Chinese zodiac animals, the horse is number seven. Yes, I knew that one at least. All right, so there we go, you guys. We have met a horse named Siri. We have checked in on our diamonds and our gemstones and collected what we can from our mines. We have tried once again unsuccessfully for breeding for our adorable horses, but at least we have had a great time and managed to see some of your guys' ranches. And I can't wait to share more with you guys next time. So I'll see you then. Bye-bye.